Good morning students. Today we'll study the pest of fruit that is Diaphorina citri. Diaphorina citri, it is hemiptron. It is silid. The classification it includes kingdom, animalia, phylum arthropoda, class insecta, order hemiptra, family D. Genus Diaphorina, species Citri. The adult silid, it is commonly known as silid, is about 4 mm long with a fawn and brown molted body and light brown head. It is covered with whitish waxy secretions which makes it look dusty. The four wings are broadest at the back and have dark edging around the periphery with a pale gap near the apex. Asian citrus silid. This is the common name for Diaphorina citri. It is widely distribu distributed in southern Asia. It is important pest of citrus in several countries as it is a vector of serious citrus disease called greening disease or honglongbing. This disease is responsible for destruction of several citrus industry in Asia and Africa. Asian citrus silid, it is a you can say carrier of a bacteria, Candidatus labribacter asiaticus, which is responsible for this greening disease. Damage. Silid nymphs are found on new shoot of citrus trees. As they feed, they produce a toxin that causes the plant tips to die back or become contorted, preventing the leaves from expanding normally. However, direct damage from feeding by silid is considered minor compared with the role of silid plays as the only known non-human vector of citrus greening disease. Feeding can vector bacteria that causes one of the most devastating of citrus disease, citrus greening disease. Affected trees bear small asymmetrical fruits which are partially green and which are unsellable because of their small size and quality. Diaphorina citri ranges primarily in tropical and subtropical Asian and is reported from the following geographical areas like Afghanistan, Caribbean, Jamaica, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Central America, China, Hong Kong, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Mauritius, Myanmar, Pakistan, Philippines. Then Saudi Arabia, Sri Lanka, South America like Brazil, Venezuela, Taiwan, Thailand and United States. The life cycle of Diaphorina citri. It includes eggs. The eggs of Diaphorina citri are approximately 0.3 mm long, elongated, almond shape, thicker at the base and tapering towards the distal end. Newly laid Eggs are pale but then turn yellow and finally orange after hatching. The eggs are placed on plant tissues with a long axis vertical to surface. Eggs are laid on tips of growing shoots on and between unfurling leaves. Female may lay more than 800 eggs during their lives. Nymphs pass through five in stars. The total life cycle requires from 15 to 47 days depending upon the season. Adults may live for several months. There is no diapause but population are low in winter that is the dry season. 
there are 9 to 10 generations in a year however 16 have been observed in field cases Diaphrena citrinims are 0.25 mm long during first instar and 1.5 to 1.7 mm long in the fifth instar. Their color is generally yellowish orange. There are no abdominal spots. The wing pads in Diaphrena citri are large. In Diaphrena citri, larger filaments are confined to the apical plate of the abdomen. The white waxy excretions of the nymph are an indicator of Asian citrus silent that is diaphragma citri. In the picture you can well see the waxy secretions. The adults are 3 to 5 mm long with the molted brown body. The head is light brown. The forewing is broadest in the apical half molted and with the brown band extended around the periphery of outer half of the wing. This band is slightly interrupted near the apex. The antenna have black tips with two small light brown spots on the middle segment. A living diaphragma citri is covered with whitish waxy secretion making it appear dusty. Now here you can see various instars of diaphragma citri, the adult diaphragma citri and these are the different instars with wing pads. Control. Workers in India reported that diaphragma citri can be controlled effectively with the wide range of modern insecticides. Injection of trees with tetracycline antibiotics to control greening disease was effective where the vector can be kept under control. In countries where greening spreads over long distancing, it occurs because of movement of infected and infested nursery stocks. Only clean and healthy plants should be transported. In areas with low incidence of greening disease, any infected tree should be removed to prevent them from being reservoir of the pathogen. Natural enemies of Diaphragma citri include Syrphids, Chrysopids, at least 12 species of Coccinelle and several species of Parasitoid Wasp. That is most important is Tamarixia radiata. Now here you can see the adult, the nymphs with the waxy secretion and all the stages of the nymphoid in stars. Thank you. www.google.com for providing us beautiful pics so that we can explain our topic well. Thank you.